Dear viewers, welcome you all to our show, Orthopedic Solution Academy. Hope you all are well during this COVID-19 pandemic situation by wearing masks and keeping distance with each other. Dear viewers, uh, today is a great day for Orthopedic Solution Academy. as because of we are going to celebrate the 100 years of Elizaro around the world. We all know that the magic of Elizaro. We have already discussed the magic of Elizaro in the last 17th episode of our program, the Orthopedic Solution Academy. But who is behind this Elizaro? Who is the real magician of Kurgan? The man is the Gabriel Abramovich Elizaro. I would like to show my deep respect and gratitude and salute to that magician who invented this Elizaro and who is the man behind the millions of smiles, behind the millions of recovery and behind the history and behind the starting of new arena of orthopedics, that is the Elizaro. So first, I want to give my salute to Gabriel Abramovich Elizaro, the legendary orthopedic surgeon and the inventor of Elizaro. Dear viewers, today we have some foreign faculties as well as the Elizaro lovers with us. I want to say them, Elizabeth lovers, as because of they are not only the Elizabeth surgeon, but they are the real Elizabeth lovers. They love the Elizabeth, they implement the Elizabeth, they improvise the Elizabeth, and they make the advancement of the Elizabeth all around the world. And today we have two participants from Bangladesh. One of them is Professor Mafakharul Barisar, the pioneer Elizabeth surgeon in Bangladesh and the president of Asami Bangladesh, Professor Mafakharul Barisar. Thank you so and much for introduction. Thank you, sir. And the second one is Professor Abdul Ghani Mollasar, the president of Bangladesh Orthopedic Society and the secretary of Asami, as well as the director of NATO. Welcome, sir. From Russia, we have two learned academic panel. One of them is Professor Shevchev, sir. He spent 18 years of his golden moments for Elizarov, and he has more than 350 publications and has written many books. And he came to Dhaka more than eight times. The legendary professor, Professor Shevchev, sir. So welcome, welcome to our show. And the another one is uh, Dr. Novikov, sir, from Russian Elizabeth Center. And I would like to request uh, Professor Novikov, sir, to join with us. And I think he will join with us uh, within a short period of time. And from China, we have Dr. Jiang Cheng Jiang from Quinchi Orthopedic Institute, Beijing, and the Secretary of Asami, China. So welcome, welcome to our show. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. And from India, we have two participants, as well as before, Professor Dr. Harsha Dem Shah, the Ramaya Medical College, Bangalore, and the past president of Asami, India. So welcome. And the another one is very enthusiastic, Dr. Shamsul Huda, consultant orthopedics, Elizarov, from Patna Bihar and the Joint Secretary of Asami, India. Uh, thank you and good afternoon, Dr. Thank you very much. Dear viewers, we all know that the magic of Elizaro, we can treat everything by Elizaro. Today, we have two parts in our program. The first part is the presentation and the introductory speech regarding Elizaro from the magnificent presenter, Professor Mapakarul Barisar. And the second part is a very interesting part. That is the journey of Elizaro, the experiences of the legendary academic panel. I hope you will wait till the second part. Now, I would like to request Professor Mafakarul Barisar, who is the real Elizaro lover, not only the Elizaro surgeon, as because of his spread the love of Elizaro all over the Bangladesh, as well as all around the world also. So I'd like to request Professor Mafakarul Barisar to start his presentation regarding our topic, bone tumor, as well as the introductory speech of 100 year celebration of Elizaro around the world. Professor Mafakarul Barisar, would you please share your screen with us? 
Uh, can, can you see my slide? Yes, sir. Uh, we can uh, see your slide clearly and we can hear you loudly. You may proceed, okay. sir. Please. And you can see me also, eh? Yes, sir. Everything is fine. Yes. Fine. So I can start, eh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Definitely. R respected all my good fellows. Uh, we are two from Bangladesh, President and the Secretary of the Asami and our Director of Binitor, Professor Gorimullah. My teacher, my mentor, who was the director for 18 years, Professor V. I. Shepsov, Vladimir Vare V. Shepsov. Vladimir Vare Shepsov, Ochin Rad, Sto V. is this Sivodnya Tsunami, Chusus Dwilse. Ya Utra Vam Pazvanil, Kagda Yavaz Gola Slishal, Sto. Bila ochin tak ni magu skazas vira za što vi ja vidju svoju vašu licu sičas. Spasiba Balšoj, što vi iz dis. And Profesor Harshad, Profesor Fadel, he was here, Dr. Shamsuluda and Novikov. And today I'm talk, I would like to talk on the Ilizarov. Whenever I talk about Ilizarov, I cannot express uh, my, you know, inner part of my body, I always uh, love to do the Elizarov and the Elizarov, the man who has done a lot of things for the human beings. And today, uh, uh, we are going to observe our Elizarov uh, 100 years. And the man has done a lot of things for the human beings. This is the orthopedic capital. We are very much happy that this is our in institute in Dhaka, Thousand Barrel Hospital. Now this is my place where I'm working in the two places here. And this is my center. This is Elizarov, the 4M, man, meat, method, and the magician, and orthopedic inspiration in miracle of nature. Now, if you look at this, see the location of the Kurgan, 3,000 kilometers from the Moscow. The Elizarov method has established itself as a powerful technology for the management of a great variety of bone diseases and conditions. It is considered by us as a system that is based on biological laws and technological philosophy. Basic principles of Elizarov philosophy were stated by founder of this method. Tension stress effect, that means slow and steady traction on a living tissue creates a stress which is metabolically activated and which stimulates histonogenesis and we should have to know the adequacy of blood supply and loading gradual lengthening and correction is the fundamental principle of ilizar of methodology and possibility of full-time control of the callus formation and early limb functioning and loading is very important of ilizar of methodology Gabriel Abramovich Elizarov, a Russian orthopedic surgeon, Academy of Russian Academy of Medical Science, the inventor of the Elizarov apparatus, the founder of the famous Russian Elizarov Scientific Center, Restorative Traumatology and Orthopedics. Now you can see, born in 1921, 15 June, the day of Elizarov, and he lived for 71, lived for 71 years and 24 July 1992 passed away. 1943, he was graduated. 52, he talked about the transocious compression destruction of osteosynthesis. And in 1968, he did his PhD and the same sitting, the uh, decision was taken by the, all the orthopedic surgeons and the members of the scientific committee. They accepted same seat same dissertation for doctor of medical science with author's apparatus. And 
1969, they have given him the Doctor of Science. At the same sitting, 68 and 69, PhD and DSC. In 1970, a symposium was held in Kurgan with all Soviet tournament primatologists and orthopedicians regarding this transocious compression destruction of osteosynthesis by Gabriel Abramovich Lizarov. And you can see here with very great leader, Quibble leader, Fidel Castro. And you can see in 1976, all Soviet conference was held regarding his destruction method and compression method. In 1983, there was, there was a Conference, international conference in Italy regarding the Elizar apparatus and the method. In 1984, conference was held in Italy and Asami was formed in 1985. 1985, with the country of the, at that time, now today, more than 65 countries of the member of the Asami. At that time, France, Belgium, Portugal, Mexico, and Yugoslavia. This is the magician of Kurgan. You can see he lived for 70, 71 years. If you look at this, here, this is the Shepsov. This is Draw Pele. This is Elizarov. And see sequentially different photos with this with Elizarov thinking about. And he worked with this method 40 years. And he worked in Kurgan for 21 years. In 1992, he published a book that was was English, that book was in English, 8,000 8, cases, 656 pictures with 3,100 illustrations. And these are the awards and honors from Russia and outside Russia. These are the international awards. And he became very well led when he treated Karl Mauri from Italy. And this is the family, uh, Simitlana Ilizarov's daughter, and in the right side, you can see Alexander, son of Elizarov. This is, you can see here, just a little bit. Here, uh, after treating the Carlo Mauro, uh, the method is spread to Italy when he successfully treated Italian journalist Carlo Mauro in 1980 for infected TBL non union. He was operated 20 times in Moscow, and ultimately he went to Italy. He went to Kurgan, and the professor, Professor Ilizarov, uh, treated it, and that was a key factor that made him famous throughout the world. Now you can see the Professor Ilizarov, the Michelangelo of orthopedics, is talking with the Karl Maro and Senkovich here. The extraordinary theory and principles he developed for the treatment of bone are of even greater significance than his instrumentation and devices. His first model, you can see the old model of Ilizarov. First patient, when he treated, he did the arthrodesis of the knee. And this is his gray beard. What are the contributions of Ilizarov? First biologic law, that is very important law of tension and stress. I uh, stated it earlier, the slow and steady traction on a living tissue creates a stress which is metabolically activated and which stimulates histoneogenesis, tissue genesis, osteogenesis, neurogenesis, myogenesis, everything. In a nutshell, all genesis. And second biologic law is the shape forming processes acting upon bone tissue are dependent upon the magnitude of the applied load and the adequacy of blood supply. And very important is the method of corticotomy. How to do the corticotomy, Elizarov taught, and that gives a very important impression all over the world regarding the compression uh, corticotomy. And the third one is the destruction and compression. Destruction of osteogenesis and compression of osteogenesis, and of course, thousands of and myriads of instruments. And the procedure and the first apparatus Elizarov designed for it was inspired by the shaft bow. You can see here harness on a horse carriage. Originally, bicycle parts were used for the frame. Horse in harness with the shaft bow, you can see here, decorated with arch standing behind the horse's head. 
and that helps him to create the lizard of apparatus. And this is the machine car which was used by Gabriel Abramovich Lizarov in front of the uh, museum. And this is the 850 beds hospital, 18 departments, 24 operation theaters, more than 350 orthopedic surgeons as employees, and more than 1,500 ancillary personnel. So this is the center, orthopedic capital where a lot of research was going on on animals and other uh, uh, different types of animals. So this is the view of the Elizarov Center in winter and in summer. This is the front gate. Elizarov Center and museum was opened by great professor uh, Vladimir Ivan Shepsov in 1993, 15 June. He was the director at that time and who was the director for 18 years in that center. And the Elizarov method, achievements and prospects that was dedicated to Gabriel Abramo Chilizarov and future of the method. In the sea, you can see the left side, my books in the Elizarov Museum. So this is the where, where Professor Elizarov was working on that uh, chair. Just I'm sitting here. His invention has indeed restored the joy of life to thousands of patients around the world so this is the lizard of museum now there are a lot of changes are there every year changes are adding there in lizard of center this is you can see uh, the the room where professor lizard was sitting and with lizard of apparatus patient can drive and easily uh, take that apparatus without any hesitation so this is the center and this is with the world famous, you know, Mar Mauricio Catagni, uh, who was the first man who introduced uh, Elizar method in the Eastern world. This is Dror Pele with Gabriel Abramo Chilizarov and Professor Shepsov in Dhaka. And Shepsov was talking when he was the director of the Institute. And uh, uh, very nice man, uh, very uh, learned uh, orthopedic surgeon. He was the director of the institute and disciple of the Elizarov. Uh, this is, you know, after the uh, Professor Vladimir uh, Shepsov, uh, Guvin was the director for 10 years, from 10th October 2010 to 11th October 20. Uh, so we have a very good time when he was the director of the institute and he came to Dhaka also. And uh, new director, uh, Alexander Vladimovich uh, Borsov who has been taken the charge from 11th February last year. So this is the, you can see the uh, Elizabeth apparatus in the dark. They are doing all the time the experiments for learning the Elizabeth technique, philosophy, and methodology. There's a professor, Fudyaev, he died uh, long ago. He was uh, with the professor Shepsov that did a lot of escoliosis correction in Elizarov Center. So look at this and how to remove the apparatus in the spine and deformity correction of the spine. So these, these are the uh, you know pins how they are removing this and there is a special cord uh, for uh, these spine uh, uh, patients. That is in the, you, you, you see the animals, so the lizard of apparatus, and in the uh, animal center, training for animal trauma. And the lizard of method is not hard to learn, but it does take proper knowledge, effort, devotion, patience, practice, meticulous, intelligent follow up. Of course, basic understanding is very important, and today it has gained a strong foothold in Bangladesh. And in 19, 2013, eight years back, they conferred me as a distinguished, that is their call, calling this honor professor and visiting professor of the Kurgan Center in 2013, in June, 14 June. So these are my, you know, student life career in uh, Kiev, Professor uh, Gabriel Abramovich Lizarov, my friends, 
and this is when I was working in Kurgan with different colleagues. This is a dog square. Organisian, you, you can see this was a, a rival of Ilizarov from Sito Central Institute of Moscow. And this is, you know, Harjan Bar, pediatric orthopedic surgeon with my daughter and uh, my wife, Harjan Bar. And when we are doing uh, Ilizarov uh, conference in India, these are the uh, uh, well known from Indian uh, Ilizarov surgeons. Harshad is also here. And uh, this is uh, Kadagni, uh, Gamalusni, and we are we're in the Professor Shipsos house. These are the, you know, memories of uh, those who are doing Elizara with all these great fellows. Uh, Rose Brook from New York, Junjunwala, and our all Egyptian friend, Canadian friend, Rod Fellow, and these are all Elizara fellows from different parts of the world. So, uh, stalwarts of Elizarov, you can see here, this is in Brisbane. The meeting was uh, conducted at that time with the presidents of the all the countries of the world, almost. And I would like to pay attention, tributes, tributes to this great man, 15 June, uh, every year we are observing that. The, now, 100 years of Elizarov birthday, we are celebrating in our country. If you think about the deformities, Elizarov, pre Elizarov era, the only available technique for correction of the limb deformities were number one, acute correction. There was no satisfactory treatment of severe limb deformities. At that time, they were doing nothing, prosthetic fitting, amputation. And in 1950s, Elizarov popularized the principles of gradual destruction of stugenesis. Thus, I mentioned you the law of tension and stress. There was no deformity that could not be addressed with Elizarov circular fixator. And this is very important. Elizarov fixator and his biological principles of gradual destruction revolutionized the management of limb deformities. Dear friends, you can see here. Limb length discrepancy, bony and joint got deformities, soft tissue contractures, boneless, delayed and non unions, infections, transverse distraction, and ischemic limbs. What are else in orthopedics and trauma? You can see here with this method, fantastic method, you can cover all these things. Now, if you think about the Elizar of legacy. C legacy circular fixator. This is our athlete, Bangladeshi athlete lady with a stress fracture. I treated her. C five feet seven and a half inches long. Principles of destruction. You can go for this, and this is final. You can see here. And now newly formed regenerated bone, unique in vivo tissue engineering techniques. No other available technique could form new bone unlimited quantities you can get same micro and macro structures are native bone and it is always vascularized which is stimulus simultaneous regeneration of all soft tissue it is very important you can get with this fantastic technique and unique technique now dear friends you would think about this congenital LLD where the deformities are main problems Elizarov, in your hand, you can solve this kind of deformities. No other alternative ways except Elizarov you can do. And think about these upper limb deformities. So what happened here? See, now gradually you can correct. So you can see the beautiful correction of this one. Now, gradual correction of severe angular deformities, with or without lengthening, you can see here from heat. He is a teacher of a government college, BCS cadet. Now, from this situation to this situation, you can do all these things with biocompatible thin wires and the Elizar of technique. Now, lengthening dwarfs. I don't want to tell more, more about this one. You can see from this situation, from this situation, you can do that. And gradual correction of severe angular deformities through soft tissues or through osteotomies. From this situation to that situation, you can do that. 
and true Elizar of legacy is not only the contributions he made about 70 years ago. Most importantly, colossal stimulus, that was huge stimulus that was addressed by Alexander Gubin in 2016 that we can improve on what he left. This is his real legacy. To reach new heights, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible by this technique. Now, what has Elizara taught me? There is a solution for all kinds of bone joint problems. The principles for all devices are the same. And the principles and biological parameters was given by the Gabriel Avramovich Elizarov. Newer is not necessarily better. A tension KWR is an amazing device to respect the vascular anatomy. And of course, this is a minimally invasive surgery. Traveler, there is no path. The path is made by walking. Does the Elizara magic have limits? See, look at this young girl with the right ankle and foot. He was supposed to go for a buddhation. Now look at this. Now she is a master degree holder. So Elizara of magic had no limits. Fundamental principle, basic technology, and advanced technology, then you can go for these kinds of deformities and finally my learning points are the elizarov has a giant in orthopedics his principles of destruction of osteogenesis have revolutionized the management of deep deformities his true legacy however is a continuous stimulation stimulation and in inspiration that his contributions have on the medical and scientific community to study to discover, innovate new areas in the management of limb deformities, to continue basic science, clinical research in the field of bone deformities. And my message is all of us should try to visit RICRTO once in a life. The Lizard of Technique, the property of the whole world. And our task is to promote it. This is the man written in here. In his graveyard here in Russian, I have translated in English. See the great scientist, talented doctor, gifted innovator, creator of the apparatus of transocious osteosynthesis, academician, Russian Academy of Medical Science, Professor Gabriel Abramovich Lizar. In Medical science, not in orthopedics. The only one man who has created the apparatus and the techniques and given the principles, the philosophy by which we can do whatever we like. Whatever we can do, we can serve the poor people, even the rich people, any kind of deformities, any kind of trauma. And we stand on Elizabeth's shoulder and will continue our effort. See, a physician must observe nature learn from it and to be able to rectify its flows it was it was uh, uh, this this version this 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 talk was given by gabriel abramovich Elizarov. and it is my dream to visit Elizarov center since my residency Elizarov center is the origin of deformity correction limb lengthening and pediatric orthopedics and treating osteomyelitis I have given my best efforts to learn and acquire Elizarov technique, and Elizarov Center has guided me towards achieving my goals. So, in my country, we are happy. Our director is here. We have a, a, a unit, a deformity correction, Elizarov lengthening in Nitor. Uh, he's the uh, chief of that unit, as well as the director, and we can. Proudly say that in my country, we can show our uh, talent regarding this uh, Elizar of technique. And I joined in government service 86. I bought two kits of Elizar external fixator from Kiev, capital of Ukraine. Started producing instruments in Dhaka through errors and trials in all Bangladeshi major clinics. Now carry home message. I love to show this one. Why? I have evidence. I have a science and I have a surgical skill. 
That's why technology is very good for machines like computers and telephones. But in human being, we need to go a step further. That is called biology. And thus all technologies have to be biologically oriented. In, in us, let us see the leaders in advocating biological and cost effective techniques, the globe might appreciate, and we can do that. And uh, these are my publications. And I always pay respect to right side. You know, I keep this one with uh, Professor Shepsov and uh, Professor these two when we became the honored professor of the Elizabeth Center. And uh, these are the things that I have shared with you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for uh, giving me the time for talking on this uh, Elizabeth. I hope uh, this is uh, this this is for this Elizabeth uh, life sketch. I showed you a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thank you for your uh, uh, great speech. Probably, yes, probably uh, you uh, stop that one uh, because we are running late. So yes, uh, you you give the mic to other people. Sure, sir. Sure. Uh, okay. uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much uh, uh, for your great speech. And we came to know many things uh, regarding the, the journey of Irizarro. Uh, as because of uh, uh, we have uh, some uh, constraint of time, uh, we are going to the second part of our program. That is uh, the sharing of experiences and the sharing of knowledge regarding the Irizarro. Before that, uh, I would like to uh, introduce one of our academic panel uh, who just you know, joined with us uh, is the man from the country where the Nile is and from the man where the pyramid is, the Professor Mahmoud Fadil, sir, director and founder of Limb Reconstructive Surgery, Mina University Hospital, Cairo, Egypt. Sir, welcome. Welcome to our show, Orthopedic Solution uh, Academy. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, uh, first of all, I would like to uh, 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 thank you and uh, 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 say greeting and regards for uh, our friends, all of you, one uh, name by name. Uh, all of you are uh, closely related for uh, myself and uh, I am so happy that uh, uh, Professor Perry gave me this a chance to give in uh, a, a, a five minutes uh, as uh, I promised him for uh, uh, presentation for my impression about Elizarov, which uh, by myself I think it uh, need a long time but uh, I hope that in these few minutes share uh, uh, this uh, chance with uh, my colleagues all over the world I will try to share Is it okay or uh, not? Not yet. Not yet. Uh, not not yet, sir. So please uh, share your screen. We are waiting for that, sir. Thank you. 
Is it okay now? Coming, sir. It's coming. It's coming. No. Uh, no, sir. Actually, I didn't feel this uh, problem with uh, Zoom. Maybe this is uh, the first time to... Uh... Yes, yes, coming. Yes, sir. Already. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, Already. okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now it's okay? Now, the previous oh. slide was okay, sir. Uh, okay. But no, 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 sir. It's not okay, sir. Now it's it's okay, sir. It's okay. It's just, okay. Just uh, okay. it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is a chance to start. Uh, thank yes. you, and uh, I am very sorry to, for this uh, delay, but I will be in a hurry. Uh, kind regards and greeting from uh, 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 all over the Nile uh, uh, and all over my country, and uh, uh, I can say that it is a very nice chance to present this uh, regards uh, from Egypt at all Egyptian Hospital Association Limbic Protective Surgery. Uh, a professional diploma and thanks for my dear friend uh, professor uh, barry who gave me this chance and usually he uh, succeeded well to uh, uh, make a gathering uh, for our uh, 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 beloved uh, uh, elizarov and thanks for this uh, uh, elegant uh, panel i'm happy to be uh, uh, with you in this meeting uh, and thanks also for uh, uh, the corona, which we have at least one benefit, is to gather us from all over the world in a specific time, uh, any time we would like to meet. Thank you. Uh, so also, thanks, we started in the LRS, the hybrid version, because we are obliged to do it. Um, talking about the Zaraf, I was uh, astonishing. Uh, how can I start? Uh, to talk about the pre elizarov era or the post elizarov era because it is a mandatory to know where we were before elizarov to know how much we are nowadays after elizarov going in a hurry uh, to talk about elizarov uh, the person or the human being or the apparatus or the principles and the concept um i think that uh, professor barry covered uh, a very nice the history of uh, Elizarov as a person and a human being, I would like to stress that uh, this human being have a far sight to discover what is, had been uh, considered the uh, era pre and post Elizarov. And the historical review, I think even me or uh, uh, Professor Berry on many of uh, our colleagues can do present it uh, to save uh, time for uh, next uh, uh, experience and for giving a chance for, I think, many of our colleagues and the trainee are watching us to, to take a benefit also of your experience as a, a very uh, excellent panel now. Uh, so the uh, Elizarov is not uh, the human being also, but Elizarov is apparatus, which gave us many chances to do many things that some of them had been mentioned by Professor Barry and other colleagues, and the most efficient and the most serious one is that the distraction histogenesis or sometimes distraction osteogenesis that had been mentioned by Professor uh, uh, Elizarov. This uh, gave me the chance to say that all these difficult things had been uh, managed carefully and silently by conservative management of Open City and his city book. In my mind, I'm considering that the counterpart of the surgery the conservative surgery is that of Elizarov. I consider that Elizarov also is the minimal invasive surgery, is the green-white surgery, is the green-white surgeon. So I think that the most conservative surgical procedures, I think in my mind, is an Elizarov uh, press. He gives the chance for doing all these things via all these complicated things, but the result is a benefit of the patient. So, how to say thanks for Elizaro? I think 
as mentioned from the last words from uh, Professor Barry, to go at least once for this area, which was in 1950. Looks like this area full of snow, but later on after Elizabeth, it looks like was very efficient to have a look at least even one year uh, life. I was lucky to be there in, I think, uh, the 60th uh, anniversary, invited by our friend, Professor Sovichov, to associate them in 2007, with all these are in love with Elizabeth philosophy and Elizabeth principles from all over the world. I didn't like to mention one of them, but all of them are a friend of me and all of you as a panel. And the change of the snow area to have this building, and I have the honor to have a photo in these places with our team from Arabic countries and from Egypt, and from the interior of the institute, and have a very nice journey in the office of my dear friend, Professor Sovichov, in his office, to give me the chance at those days about his uh, uh, idea about the uh, uh, minute by minute, or maybe uh, a nano minute of lengthening apparatus at that time. And he mentioned me that since long time, Elizarov knows this well, and he also encouraging to have all these uh, um, uh, uh, innovation in the uh, uh, Elizarov apparatus. And he uh, gave me the chance for many minute things, and we have a very nice tour for the Institute for watching many of the marvelous uh, uh, cases. And since that time, we are enjoying and we are very proud to uh, receive many uh, of the team of uh, Corgan to associate us in Egypt with the uh, 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 deformity correction uh, uh, course that had been elaborated by Professor Jamal Hosni. And since uh, 2005, we start annually to have all those. So how to say thanks to Elizabeth, this is one, is to visit Elizabeth to know how is there is this. Also to design some uh, some programs for management of uh, principles and using Elizabeth, such as the centers of our world. And I would like to recommend that one of uh, Professor Barry in Bangladesh and design some uh, uh, many courses for those of the uh, low-income uh, uh, countries, uh, France uh, from Africa, we uh, invited them to share us in Cairo and the LRS. And also, we can say that we can say thanks for Elizarov by also joining any collection and to, to talk for this panel postgraduate with my friends from India to assure them and to present for them. Uh, for this uh, one, I present uh, uh, what we can do by Elizabeth principles in the management of Kajitka food. Uh, I don't like to, I have many things to say as an, uh, uh, a director of Africa for many uh, 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 organizations, Lovato Wallace, as I am uh, the infection subspecialty director for Africa and Seacode, and uh, also director of Africa and the World Against Infection and Osmetical Trauma, and vice president and uh, of Professor uh, D uh, Tanija, and uh, uh, director of Africa also for the World Concern, Osmetic Concern, and the Par Arab Osmetic Association uh, for the website, and uh, as uh, I would like to say that I am the program director of of, of uh, LRS.pd, and actually we can say Elizarov uh, to say for Elizarov thank you and thanks for Elizarov by uh, disseminating and propagating all over at least one uh, of our lovely places here in Africa, and also ask our friends to do this in uh, their area and. Uh, uh, Actually, I have many slides, many talks, many uh, uh, ways to say thanks for Elizarov, but I would like to stop my uh, uh, presentation to give the chance, as I, I told, for many of the trainees to follow us and to have benefits from your experience, uh, our associated uh, dear panel. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your brilliant presentation. And uh, now I would like to say uh, something. Uh, as because of Professor Barisar says that uh, 
you need evidence, science, and the surgical skill. But I think uh, more than that, you have to you have some passion and you have to love the Elizar for the betterment of the Elizar. As because of it is not how much you do, but how much love you put into the doing that matters. And we love Elizaro. Now, I would like to request our honorable academician, Professor Shefsov, sir, to say something regarding the 100 year celebration of Elizaro and the experiences of his golden moments of life. Professor Shefsov, sir, would you please share your golden experiences with us? I think I should uh, do uh, stop sharing, I think, or is this already? No, it's okay, sir. No problem, sir. Okay. Stop sharing. Uh, Professor Barisar, would you please uh, tell uh, Professor Sheptov, sir, to you, say something? He's right, probably. Vladimir Ivanovich. Gavariche, Gavariche. Unmute, unmute. Of course, uh, you have to unmute he's talking, yourself, but he's, he's not. He has not done unmute. Hey, unmute. Please unmute your microphone. Vladimir Ivanovich. Tell him in Russian. Mind. Talk to him in Russian. Ivanovich. No. Well, microphone is listed now. Nislishna. Да, да. Да, сейчас лично. Давай. Я могу начинать? Да, начинайте. Говорите, начинайте. Вы по-английски или по-русски? По-русски, по-русски. По-русски, покажите слишком. Я буду по-русски, а вы по-английски. Хорошо? Да. Я должен это переводить? Да. Тогда медленно говорите. Эй, о, парбиша джатче, о, русский ты был бы, а мы английский транслейт курбу. It's okay, sir, no problem. It's okay? No problem. Okay. 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 Послушал эти два сообщения профессора yeah. Бори, профессора Фаделя. Я должен uh, сказать... I, I, want to, I, wa I want to show you the two informations of профессор Бори и профессор Фадел. Я должен сказать что я, я засомневался, где же родился и жил Илизаров. Uh, I was in confusion where this Elizaro was born. Вы настолько подробно рассказали о жизни Илизарова, особенно uh, профессор Бори, что я даже некоторые факт, факты не знал, а вот теперь знаю та, после I, выступления Бори. I, I am astonished how профессор Бори knows about the Elizarov, even I don't know a lot of things about Elizarov. Да, Elizarov, это для настоящего времени, это эра Elizarov, травматологии и ортопедии. This is the era of Elizarov in traumatology and orthopedics. Он полностью перевернул всю травматологию, особенно ортопедию, в плане возможности оказания и расширения специализированной помощи. You can help anything in traumatology and orthopedics by Elizarov technique. Ведь для Elizarova были попытки удлинения конечностей. В Германии еще в 20-х годах были разработаны аппараты для возможности удлинения, попытки удлинения конечностей предпринимались. In Germany, before Elizarov, they tried to go for lengthening, but they could not. Но все эти попытки закончились одним – ампутацией конечности после подобной операции. What they have tried in Germany for lengthening and what happened ultimately they did for amputation. Почему это произошло? Why this happened? Потому что никто не учитывал биологические закономерности развития организма. Because Nobody knows about the biological laws that was shown by Elizarov. In the 20th century, 
в Германии, когда предпринимались попытки удлинения конечности, то это выполнялось одномоментно на операционном столе. In 20th century, whatever they did in Germany, one time they did the lengthening. That happened. Ultimately, it goes to amputation. И в результате происходило нарушение кровообращения, нарушение нервации. And what happened? Loss of distraction, loss of blood circulation, neurological problem, and they did, they did amputation in the same table. Развивалась гангрена и производили ампутацию конечности. And what happened? As a result, gangrene was there, and they decided to go for amputation. Заслуга Ильзарова состоит в том, что все свои новые идеи он не начинал применять в практике, в медицинской практике, пока не производил соответствующие эксперименты на животных. Uh, the why this has happened? Whatever Elizar have done anything in the human body, he did everything in the animals that he proceeded for human being. Вот, скажем, в травматологии какие особенности имеются в травматологии при лечении переломов? Now I think about the trauma, trauma fracture of the long bones. Он провел специальные исследования, специальные исследования, которые касались жесткости фиксации. Видно изображение? Нет? Изображение And he, не видно? He, he did experiments of stable fixation or nestable fixation in case of trauma patients. Вот для этой цели он провел три серии экспериментов. В одной серии Одна опора на каждый отломок, две спицы не натянутые. В другой серии две спицы натянутые. А в третьей серии по две кольцевые опоры на каждый отломок с натянутыми спицами. Это очень трудно, Владимир Иванович. Вы много так говорили, я не могу. А изображение не видно? У меня сейчас изображение там не видно у вас? Да, да. Хорошо, а, говорите. Слайд, слайд у вас не видно? Слайд нет. Uh, ну, что, да, да. Hey, he is showing the slides, but you cannot see. Ну, ладно, But хорошо. Значит, он провел... Он провел... Can you see the slides? No, вот sir, we, we can't. Основе. We cannot see the slides, sir. He has to share the slides first. Ну, вот. Slide. вот у меня слайд здесь, передо мной. Нет, мы не видим. Пожалуйста, ну, покажите хорошо. еще раз. Значит, он провел исследование. Значение жесткости фиксации при э, переломах. Если, Stable fixation is always mandatory in case of fractures. При плохой фиксации отломки, э, вы, это, вы, отломки имеют маятникообразную подвижность. В результате развивается замыкательная пластинка. If, вот if это... your fixation is not stable, you will get movement. And as a result, you cannot invite lot of callus. А при жесткой фиксации Заживление перелома происходит по типу первичного заживления, как в мягких тканях, минуя You can get, get good healing. Владимир Иванович, где ваши слайды? Вот передо мной. Не, не вижу. Ну, вот, а так, видно? Не Нет, видно. Не, не. Э, у него на слайде, да, где? И там на дикте бачи не будет. Окей, okay, окей. Okay. Yeah. Вот Мы таким это... образом, проведя эксперименты, Элизаров отработал технологию удлинения конечностей. Вот это его самая большая, большая заслуга, что он научил мир, как надо удлинять конечности. What he did, he did the experiments on animals for lengthening of the bones. And that was his main motto all the time, he did the experiments for lengthening of the bones. He did experiment primarily in the animals, and then he has applied this experiment in the human body. И от удлинения одного сегмента одной конечности он затем перешел к, систем, к системным удлинениям, когда необходимо увеличить э, пациенту рост. То есть сначала один сегмент удлиня, мы научились удлинять, а потом начали системно удлинять все сегменты конечности для увеличения роста. 
and uh, listen what he did he lengthened one segment primarily first and then step by step he had done lot of lengthening in different parts of the body at udlenie zatem dalsze przeszedł zakaz pacjentów at udlenienia dłuższych kości my przeszli ku udlenieniu krótkich kości kiści stopy after doing the long bones lengthening he has gone for short bones lengthening that is in the hands and in the foots Elizarov говорил, что аппарат настолько универсален, что он может использоваться при нейрохирургии, в ангиологии, в онкологии и других дисциплинах, медицинских дисциплинах. After doing that, Elizarov said you can apply Elizarov urology in cardiology, in geriatric, everywhere you can apply Elizarov apparatus. И поэтому после После смерти Элизара у нас было открыто отделение нейрохирургии, сосудистое отделение, где лечились соответствующие больные. After death of the Elizarov, we opened the neurosurgery in Kurgan and vascular surgery in Kurgan for lengthening this all kinds of by Elizarov technique. В целом же Элизаров был заточен, он был на, нацелен на новые идеи в травматологии и ортопедии. He has given the new idea in traumatology and orthopedics. Он исключительно гениальный человек и exclusive genius. Да. He is telling Elizarov is exclusive genius. И свой богатый, своей богатой фантазией он притворил травматологию ортопедии и подарил это всему. And he was rich in thinking all the time. So much rich in thinking all the time. Поэтому итальянцы сказали, что в России с появлением Элизарова произошла вторая революция. Революция And травматологии And other people, that's why they told the Elizarov, that is second revolution in Russia. Due to Elizarov. Достижения Элизарова настолько важны, что об этом свидетельствует создание ассоциаций по изучению аппарата Элизарова в 55 странах. And achievement of Elizarov is very great. And that's why different countries now are trying for doing this Elizarov technique. If so? Поэтому Элизарова мы все знаем. Любим и будем всегда помнить. Он навсегда останется в наших сердцах и в наших мыслях. That's why we all love Elizarov. We are following Elizarov technique and everything what did Elizarov. So? Спасибо за внимание. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your attention. Okay. Attention. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for uh, sharing your experiences with us and thank you, Professor Mafakarul Barisar, for translating. Uh, And now I would like to uh, request uh, Professor Harshad sir uh, to share his uh, experience of journey regarding the Elizarov. Professor Harshad sir, would you please? Yeah, yeah. How do I how do I uh, copy this onto this share? Should I click share? Uh, yes. If, if you want to, uh, I'm sure you have to. Yeah. Click me. Sir, you have to just click on share screen. Like presentation. Huh? Go to. Yeah. Yes, sir. And uh, share your desktop or your slide, whatever you can see, sir. Share video file, share screen. Share a screen and then open your presentation, sir. How share screen? No. Yeah, share. Ah. There is a share button in the bottom, sir. Just click on that. Ah. Yes, sir. There is a share button in the bottom, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you are on the show. Yeah. Stop sharing. Is it coming? No. No. It's no. Yet, yet not. Yet not coming, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it's coming. It will open on my this one. See? Please go full screen, sir. Please go full screen. Please run the huh? slide show. Don't close it. Please run the slide show, sir. My slide show is open. Yes, sir. Is it open there? Uh, uh, just, just close. Don't go to preview, sir. It is open, sir. Just uh, play it full, full screen. Okay. Uh, yeah, One second. Full screen. Play full screen. Now? Yeah. Full screen, sir. Yeah. 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 Come, yeah. Sir. yeah. You are able to yes, see. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's perfect. Right. Did anybody perfect, accept perfect. my presentation? So, if it is okay, shall I begin? Yes, sir. Please, please. Uh, okay. Uh, Dr. Bari, thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Mohammad Zail, Dr. Uh, Abdul Ghani Mullah, 
all close friends of mine are professor shafso who is my uh, mentor and teacher and fine tuner of mine professor noviko constantin had come to bangalore also to conduct the cadaveric workshop here and operate on my family members as well as others dr jian singh jang at china taken very good care of us and we had a wonderful time dr mohammad iqbal and finally dr mohammad tanveer ashraf thank you so much for everything i know it's taking time a uh, small video i will play play so that uh, all of you in the meantime i'll just talk to you dr bari has all this is a humorous infected non union the commonest place where we use uh, illegalize on infections of long bones whenever there is infection of long bone it is very difficult for us to treat we cannot put any uh, what you call uh, implant inside because the implant itself will produce infection so that is where illegalize which will allow us to excise the infected bone so infection can get controlled earlier infection was never controlled of bone before illegalize era or before illegalize came into the picture uh, all of us were taught that chronic osteomyelitis which means infection of bone is uh, how might the volume i'll reduce the volume i do not know all right we can hear you sir you can hear yes sir ah, so okay. we can hear what yes, happens sir. is when you put the illegalize on everybody objected saying that this particular fixator is not good for patients it is not a human human method of treatment all of them i Ah, okay. That uh, reduces the background sound. Can you hear me now? Yes, sir. Clearly. Hello. Sir. Can... Yes, ah, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you clearly, okay. sir. So you can you can see that this boy is quite comfortable with this illegalize external fixator with many pins inside his arm. He is able to move. He is able to ride drive a motorcycle. And you can see on the net, and you can see in Russia, and all of us have got patients of all kinds of illegalize fixed everywhere. and all of them are doing good amount of this one initial few days some pain is there which we get it controlled so the most important was trying to get pain controlled convince the patient that we will do a good job because conventional treatment cannot treat all such conditions at all and this is where illegalize comes in the picture and finally if you see 80% of orthopedics can be treated primarily by illegalize itself look at this i don't think we ourselves can do so much of exercise isn't it so starting with this i think uh okay so we are celebrating 100 years of illegalize and uh, well drast vitay to everybody namaskara good afternoon we too have become small magicians not as big as illegalize but then we too are able to do magic surgeries i come from ramaya medical college and memorial hospital bangalore he is a true magician he is the one who invented and found this external fixator ring after him i think about professor illegalize dr bari has elaborated and told a lot that's why i have not included much next is professor shafsho he was with dr illegalize for i think 25 years and after that he was director for 25 years he has become an academician and a big man and a very close friend of mine thanks to dr bari and uh, well my salutations to professor shafsho even at uh, 75 years hundreds of surgeries he has done i have assisted i have learned a lot excellent surgery is a very good friendly man and it started at uh, other conferences international conferences across the world and also at bangladesh one of our first meetings in 2008 of course china dr jang is here dr kinsi hey they took very good care of us when we were there in china this was when they came to bangalore mysore of course dr uh, <clears throat> i am here all all our stalwarts dr jang here who had come to malaysia and we meet there i have been conducting cadaveric workshops in bangalore dr manish dhawan dr bari all of them are here in uh, bangalore all these youngsters have all all of us have become old many of them he is dr sandeep reddy dr ashok dr karan all of them these few of them have been trained in bangalore he is from delhi he is from puttaparthi this is dr bari you know so like this all over the world we have met dr ganimulla you look very young here excellent 
and then you can see after conducting many of these things dr bari has always been part of our programs in uh, what we conduct at ramaya in this one so there we have got cadaveric workshops where elizaro limb lengthening is there after elizaro and professor uh, shefro dr drol pelli came into our picture and he changed a lot of things the concepts and thinking and all those things along with herzenberg dr drol pelli also started the first thing which i liked very much was he reduced the number of complications just by changing the names saying that the others are problems and not complications well dr noviko is here with us i wish he was here with us in this meeting along with bari they have come and operated on one of my family members dr sandeep reddy is here who is another elizaro man with 15 years plus experience in my department we have i have trained two of them and we have 15 years plus experience elizaro surgeon three of them in my department i don't think anywhere in the country we have so with that i think we can stand at least in the top 10 in the whole country only because of elizaro methods of treatment and dr bari has put one of my whole program in his hospital what i call abc ipl advanced cadaveric learning center uh, in our center the whole thing he has put all the photos across the world whatever he has done i picked up this from bari of course this is from brazil i have traveled across the world only because i learned elizaro surgery and i had a passion of teaching everybody and only because i could do magic with patients where no other treatment was possible and this elizaro treatment of course across the world you can see all the countries all the continents the technique of training elizaro what is to be done i have trained more than 200 doctor post graduate consultant foreign consultant i have been very happy once i learned elizaro I started treating patients with elizaro external fixator with lot of hiccups in the initial few years but afterwards we picked up and there was no looking back at all and constantly we need to update and learn because more and more difficult cases we are treating with these things so we have conducted and uh, this one our post graduates have probably got 9 or 10 uh, thesis on elizaro done we have more than 300 papers presented posters lectures guest lectures etc etc across the country and across the world all major institutions like pgi chandigarh here there and all that every place we have conducted meetings and conferences in the before i was president of assami india i was president for two years i saw to it that every place it was there shamshul luda conducted one in uh, bihar and now it's it has become a regular affair famous book by professor elizaro from where i learned a lot of things transosseous osteosynthesis is like our bible and later dr bari has written many books and several other books are also available on elizaro technique itself this technique is so good that other methods when you cannot treat you have to amputate and or you have to leave the patient alone you can treat with this and create good thing my basic aim is i still see that out of 500 medical colleges in india we have 450 medical colleges where they do not know how to treat by elizaro method so out of the 50 medical colleges 40 other medical colleges are treating only very occasionally so this is the reason my aim is to see that our post graduates in orthopedics should know the basic elizaro external fixation usage of course if they become specialist of some other kind they can forget this if it is not required or they can get further treatment i mean training in russia or big people like bari etc and all of us where we can train them how to operate and we can now we have come to that level where we can treat all patients very well because of our 30 years plus experience as well as we have taught so many people gone to so many meetings we know but then the question always arises what to do when there is infection you can see a cavity in a normal bone the normal bone has become irregular there are dead pieces of bone there is pus dead tissue this is what happens to bone so earlier we used to just clean it put antibiotics now we can simply excise this whole thing so when you excise this the gap which is there can be filled by elizaros regenerate what dr bari has already told histiogenesis histiogenesis in different tissues osteoneogenesis or it is uh, whether it is nerves or muscles or vessel everything can be grown with elizaro technique a few examples bari has shown plenty of them you can see a short limb can be made long there it is a small short limb a deformed limb it doesn't have any bone in between one bone has overgrown one bone has this one congenital pseudarthrosis of tibia you can treat with elizaro lengthen it make everything all right and it becomes first class there one girl with very short leg with a very crooked hip which was corrected then fixator has been put oh 
I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that. There you can see the fixators. I made the stoppers like that, specially, specially made for this. And then did an osteotomy and corrected this after correction. This is the femur, which is very small in a small young girl. We cut the bone, lengthen the bone. All right. You can see I have cut the bone here. It is known as corticotomy. I have cut the bone here. It is known as corticotomy. And then we lengthen the bone between the rings. And then the leg becomes longer and longer and longer. This is the femur. This is the tibia, which has become so long and thin in the small girl. In young children, it grows very well. And today, her knee joint is up here. That is the hip joint. This is the knee joint. This is the hip. This is the knee. From here till here, it is one single bone. This girl today walks normally with the hip joint around here. This is with the support. Now she doesn't have any support and she can stand and walk. Only she cannot sit or squat because her knee joint is at this point. There she is walking. All right. The video doesn't play. All right. You have seen Bari's this one. The forearm which is very short because of some small benign tumor. We cut the bone, put Elizaro, lengthen it and a crooked bone with overgrown bone like this becomes normal. One of my relatives daughter from Maharashtra. Their very crooked and bad limbs can all be treated excellently. You can see many Elizaro cases like this. And of course, we get a scope to do a lot of things. So, Pasiba, Shukriya, thank you, all of you. If there are any questions you want me to answer, I can answer. Everybody blames somebody else for Elizaro failure. Please, all doctors who learn, take the blame onto yourself and see that there are no failures. Thank you so much. I wish all of them very best. I uh, congratulate Russian Center. Professor Elizaro on his 100th year here now. And uh, my salutations to Professor Shefso, who is here. And Bari, one of my best friends in this world, on Elizaro and orthopedic friends. I thank him so much for helping me out in seeing that our interest and work on Elizaro works on very well. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, for, thank your, you for your uh, great uh, presentation. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right. Yeah. yeah, it's all right, sir. Uh, and now I would like to request uh, Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir, to uh, before before that uh, uh, our uh, Chinese friend has joined with us. Uh, before Dr. Shamsul Huda, sir, I would like to request Dr. Jiang Cheng Jiang, sir, from Quincy Orthopedic Institute, Beijing, the Secretary of Assami, China, uh, to share his uh, experiences with us. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Very honored to be invited as a uh, uh, yeah, online to meet all the friends. I, I have a small slide. I will share it now. Uh, share it. So, I, I can try, yeah. Uh, can you can you can you see it? The skin? No, no, sir. No, sir. No. It's not. It is it's coming. Com it's coming. No, it's, it's okay. Coming. No, it's not okay. You have to make it full yeah. screen, sir. Just open the presentation. Yeah. 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 Now it's okay. I think I think it takes yeah, some time to yes. appear. It has come, sir. Yes, sir. It's okay. And it's perfectly okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, this is uh, Jian Chengzang from Beijing, China. Uh, in the before the important day of uh, 100 uh, celebration of uh, Professor Ili Jalov, so it's an important day. I'm very glad to be invited to yeah as a speaker in the online webinar. In this time, I would like to talk the hero of the Bangladesh. I share some pictures and uh, yeah, in the important day, yeah. 100, uh, the birthday of Ili Jalov in China, we also have some uh, conference uh, in the live conference or the online conference uh, about the important day in Beijing, in Shijiazhuang, in Changzhou, a lot of uh, place to hold this kind of meeting. And I know the several days later in Kurgan, the big uh, conference also be held in, in the Russia. So firstly, I want to 
say many thanks to Professor Ilijanov. He gave us so many opportunities to meet the best friends and uh, to have some experience to treat the difficult or easy some uh, patient. And uh, uh, five years ago, Professor Qin uh, uh, to lead us to Kurgan to meet uh, the lot of friends. In the wall, on the wall, I looked uh, so many ordinary professors. This is Professor Qin, and here, here is Professor Barry. I know Professor Barry is a uh, active man in the field of uh, the data of uh, technology. Here is Professor Qin, in uh, president of Asami China. In China, we have a lot of uh, the difficult cases, uh, lower limb or upper limb deformities like this, and uh, the foot and ankle deformities. We collect uh, the data and uh, into one book named uh, Lower Limb Deformities, published uh, last year with the Springer. And uh, some cases uh, I just uh, show even the severe deformities, we also can got good result. We using just using the frame, just using the facilitator. The data from my side. So between or among the business work, busy work, Professor Qin uh, usually play some flute to uh, to do. Uh, to have some uh, spirit to do the clinical work. In the meeting, we also to see uh, Professor Bali show some similar cases with us. So you can see so many, many similar cases with us. And uh, we invited Professor Bali and uh, Professor Gubin to China many times to talk how to do why to do, where to do, some techniques, some uh, philosophies. We have uh, many, many times to meet each other. And in Liverpool, and uh, here in, in Xiaoyuan, we just uh, finished our dinner. Here is my son. Yeah, Professor Bali, can you remember that? Uh, like brothers, maybe in half year, we can meet each other three times. Yes, so many times. Uh, before the severe COVID-19, Professor Qin and me uh, to Dhaka for Bangladesh uh, to meet uh, Professor Qin, uh, Professor Ballet's Institute. And uh, in his uh, orthopedic world, we look the patient and uh, we talk in his his room and we uh, some uh, surgeries were from some surgeries in his operating theater and uh, learned a lot and uh, talked uh, a lot. Uh, and uh, even also before the uh, COVID 19, in the 2019, we invited uh, many uh, professors to reform the momentum uh, of Professor Qin. We found uh, the center of uh, uh, special for the deformity correction in the medical university. Here is uh, Professor Bali, and uh, here is Satish, and a lot of friends from uh, the uh, international. So you know that we also treat some fundamental deformities combined author. Yeah, you can see everywhere the authors how to do. In this uh, meeting, road and bite meeting, we also uh, found another society just for the spinal bipeda sequela, Chinese society. And another one is just for the diabetic food. We have the special society committee for the yeah, difficult cases. So you can see here is Professor Qin, he is the president of a medical university, and Professor Zhang, and uh, yeah, Droplinki from Russia, and uh, uh, Hani Amawafi from Egypt, and a lot of friends, Satish, and uh, Yung Hong, uh, 
uh, from uh, Korea, and uh, Dong Hong, Dong Hong from Korea, and uh, from uh, professor from Japan. Oh, here is uh, Professor Bali and his wife. So a lot of um, nice memories. So when I visited uh, uh, in Korgan, a lot of things we must uh, think about how and what and when we can go. Like uh, deformity on food equinus. So how can we treat it easily? Like Ajimit, he said, have a spot on the even and can control the direction. So we have the, the special tools. We have the spot and give the direction some uh, continuous force we can control and uh, can correct the, the deformities. So I totally agree with the Professor Barry. Why Ididalov? So very, very important. I took the picture and show in this webinar and to talk. So Ididalov, intelligence, lengthening, infection, zizizang, and reliable opportunity and with the tide. So it's very important philosophy. So in the very important day of uh, 100 celebration of uh, Professor Ilyalov, we must uh, think about where we can go in the future, what we can do in the future. It's a superficial or deeply how can we uh, uh, don't uh, say no by Professor Ili Jalov. Last year, we uh, mainly from uh, Professor Gang Li and uh, Professor Qin organized a special issue on GOT. Uh, just for the Ili Jalov method in China for 30 years, we collected uh, uh, 12 papers uh, published uh, in the same time. And this year, just uh, before this week, uh, another uh, journal also has a special issue just for the ideal of technique. But in Chinese, China doctor uh, very familiar and, uh, with Chinese journal. So the best three journal just for the Ilijad of Maesad. And uh, in, in next week, next weekend, we also have some uh, uh, 100 uh, uh, anniversary celebration of Ilijad of, some uh, summit uh, forum, or some conference, just for the external fixation and uh, limb reconstruction in Shaduang city in China. So yeah. I want to show this video with the uh, So you can remember that in this slide, we got the Yeah, six words for the combined meeting, ILAS, ASAMI, and the BR. Very good uh, opportunity for us. I think uh, also a uh, good opportunity to, to all of us, 2023 uh, in Beijing, we have a good, uh, absolutely have a good meeting. So you must uh, know that uh, the ancient uh, famous professor Confucius said that, said that, what a joy is to have a friend coming from afar. And uh, in this, in the end, I want to say thanks to uh, to Professor Bali invite me and uh, say thanks to all of the professors and the doctors and uh, say thanks to Professor Idi Dalov and give us uh, the opportunity to meet each other uh, to guide the friend all of the world. Thank you, thank you uh, everyone, thank you chairman, thank you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your excellent audiovisual presentation.
and a great sound effect. Uh, thank we you. all know that. Thank you. We do not remember days, but we remember the moments, and that was the that were the golden moments of our life regarding the Elizabeth journey. Now, I would like to request uh, Dr. Shamsul Huda sir to share his experience uh, regarding his journey to Elizabeth. Thank you, Dr. Tanvir. I'm very young in front of our scholars that are sitting here. I'd like to especially thank our Professor Bari sir, Hasha sir, who are my real teachers, who brought me, taught me at every step with whom, if, of whom I didn't come here. I really great uh, Father sir has helped me. I really give gratitude for uh, so sir. Elizabeth has been a journey for me. I used to just do trauma and all just uh, before four to five years and after my, the teachings of my seniors now i'm able to do impossible cases no limits no limits of th thinking where all the cases ends elizabeth starts i am doing uh, deformities limb lendings infections what not so it's been a real pleasure i'd like to give one i will not make professor elizabeth but for me professor elizabeth is all my teachers saying in, in front of me here also, right now so you are all my teachers have given me chance to learn and do something. I'm really grateful to you. I'd just like to share one screen, one photograph, if you allow, Dr. Tamil. Yes, sir. Please, please. Yeah. So... Can you see the screen? Uh, yet not, sir. Uh, yeah, it's coming. So I always uh, keep my Elizabeth box, my armamentarium in all my cases, whatever trauma I do, this help me uh, anywhere, everywhere. So whatever the deformity is there, whatever time you can just treat with Elizabeth, if you have the thinking, all that type of daily activities is possible. With Elizabeth, there's no limit to walk, to do, to work, to play with your hands, with your foot. Everything is possible with this. If you have an experience and learning of Elizabeth, patient can do his earnings on his bread at his village, at his office, do everything. So all this is possible with Elizabeth. I really give thanks to all my professors. So I give the hashtag. For Elizabeth, the hashtag is Elizabeth Saving Limbs. Hope is always live. These are my several patients who have treated from different states of India, from Rajasthan to Assam. These are my loving mentors who have treated me, Elizabeth. I really th like to thank them. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Can you stop share? Yeah, yeah. Stop, uh, stop share. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Shamsuluddha, sir. Uh, Thank, for you, Dr. Your Thank you, Dr. Yeah. Shams. Thank you, Dr. Shams. Thank you. For sharing your knowledge. Yeah. Uh, just uh, uh, Dr. Jiang Chang Jiang uh, already said that the, when we have, to, we have to learn what we have to learn, how to do, what to do, and when to do. And this is very important for all of us. Uh, it is a very important thing that uh, someone says, I don't believe in aging. I believe in forever altering one's aspect to the sun. Now, I would like to request Professor Abdul Ghani Mullah, sir, the President of Bangladesh Orthopedic Society and the Secretary of Asami Bangladesh and the present Director of NITOR to share his experience with us. Professor Abdul Ghani Mullah, sir, would you please share your experience with us? Uh, Professor Abdul Yes, sir. Would you please uh, share your experience with us, sir? We are waiting for your uh, experience sharing. Yes, sir. We can hear you, sir. We can hear Hello. you, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you, sir. We can hear you. Can you hear us, sir? Yes, sir. We can hear you, sir.
Tanvir? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. We can yes, hear, sir. sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Oh, I cannot hear anything, any anything from you. Please start, okay. sir. You can hear, sir. Please start, sir. We can we can hear you, sir. Please proceed on, sir. Can you? What is that? Coming phone di coming disturbing. Tanvir, can you hear me? Sir, we yes, can sir. hear you. Can start speaking, sir. No, now I, we I can hear you. Uh, hear anything from you? We can now hear we can you, hear sir. We can hear you, sir. You go on. Uh, I think uh, there is uh, some sort of network problems there, and it will overcome soon. And we're uh, we're just waiting for that. I think it's a great day for us, as because of uh, uh, our uh, seniors and professors, uh, all of them are with us today. And it's a great day uh, for the young Elizabeth surgeon also, as because of. Uh, uh, all of the senior professors and senior mentors are in a single frame. And it's a great day for me also as a young orthopedic surgeon and a, a lover of Elizaru. Uh, uh, Professor Harshad sir, uh, one of his family <coughs> members joined with us and welcome. You are going, you are going to be yeah. <laughs> more. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, welcome, thank welcome sir. to our show. And thank you for with us. I am in detention. You in Kurgan. In the <laughs> 15... We are in Kurgan now, eh? Yes. yes. 15th June, we have a big conference. Ah, sure. Yeah, we are approaching. Yes, we are approaching June. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Annual June. 15th uh... June. Yes, annual June. Yes, annual June. Yes. Uh... Okay. Uh, meeting, yes. Finish, finish. Okay, finish. Finish, yeah. Okay, bye bye. No, bye bye. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, no, I think I think a web. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 still is no. I think no snow nowadays. And no snow. Oh, now good. flowers, flowers. Ah, yes. <laughs> Very good weather. Yes, at, at that time, yes. I I, uh, I went there at that uh, uh, 2007. It was very nice uh, day. Mm. Sir, uh, uh, what is the favorite uh, food dish in Kurgan, sir? Uh, we have many what? experienced uh, uh, Kurgan minded nowadays. We have um, all the panel. <laughs> Can advise you. <laughs> He asking about it, it, when he can visit Korgan. Okay, sir. Ah, what is your suggestion for time for our friend? Now June is the best time. It is summertime yeah. there, no? Sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're, we're yes, still yes, sir. Yeah, we are still online, sir, and we are still live, sir. Yes. Have, uh, Hello, sir. Has joined with us. Yes, sir. We can uh, hear okay, you, sir. Oh. There are some problems. There are some problems. I don't know what time is it. Tanvir? Yes, sir. Shunagar. Yes, sir. It's, it's your time now, sir. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, thank you very much. Espasiva Karashab to our great magician next to Elijarab, Mr. Shepcha from Russia, our teacher, our mentor. And uh, in this August gathering, Varshad uh, Dhyar, Professor Fajali Dhyar, uh, Professor Cheng is here, Dr. Samsuruda is here, and not but the least, Professor Bari, the honored professor is here, the philanthropist. Uh, he is the Elizabeth in this subcontinent, in Bangladesh particularly. 
so salute everybody in this august gathering you have many experiences i have also experiences but due to the inconstant time i cannot show any slide to you so in this august gathering i am very much happy to see all of you in a in a nutshell very things for long time in the covid situation many of the doctors has been died in bangladesh there are 3 or 400 doctors have been died and in particularly the orthopedic surgeons and our teachers and our juniors or colleagues about 13 orthopedic surgeons died so in the we remember them and pray to almighty for the eternal beach so 100 years celebration of the abraham elizarab the man man behind the institution man behind the instruction he is a polish guy he was a polish guy he was born in polish actually in poland he came of a jewish family and then they came to ussr professor bari has uh, elaborately introduced everything he came to ussr and living in kurgan when he was a doctor actually many of the doctors in that time many of the orthopedic surgeons on that time called him cock he was a cock like doctor and so they were mind he gradually he accepted he teaches the elizarab in the living body in the homo sapiens and the animal body also and in course of time his instruction and his philosophy and his invention throughout the country like particularly in the europe in the 60s and the in, in and the uh, up to it is and in america it will be executed it will be established in 90s so far the history is concerned he was recognized as a full budget extraordinary academician scientist and a magician of elizarov from that time he established the russian institute of orthopedic center and after his departure after his departure from the world after his death in the world actually the center was named just today i think uh, one year birthday anniversary of uh, eliza we have another program in the 15th of june in nitor and uh, i talked to professor bari that every senior person from bangladesh and also the great man like you particularly in india professor arshad dr samsuluda in the in the native land sri lanka in maldive in the they will be uh, included to our program in the 12 12 clock 12 noon 12 to 2 in the 2 hours and from on nitor and i request dr tanbit to telecast this from the ras tv so you have shown everything in your slides and you are a great magician part of the great magician also like elizarab all from the bone disease in the body in the homo sapiens it was stated by elizarab why there is a problem there is elizarab particularly i am very much astonished that the non union infective non union have non union the treatment is bone corticotomy and bone transport is a very very interesting subject in the era of medical science in the world even in the small bone destruction uh, bone transport and lengthening the foot and the hands bone is very interesting and also deformity correction so everywhere we see everywhere there is a problem if there is a solution and the solution is bone solution is elizar of solution today was the plan today was the plan of the bone tumor i think it all this subject is not uh, discussed 
i think another another one day we have a plan to make a discover of the bone tumor and how to uh, develop and how to application of the reserve with the bone tumor and what will be your result and i think lastly i tribute my homage and gratitude to mr elizarov and the day of elizarov day and remember that man i have a scope to go to kurgan center in uh, 2006 2011 with professor bari and a great team from bangladesh so i in this day i remembered from core of my heart and core of my uh, soul and for all on behalf of the all orthopedic surgeons in the country his contribution his rules and regulation instruction and follow his instruction for the mankind the, the great discovery and invention of the elizara for the people and lastly i salute all of you and you are the parts of elizara you are the great so uh, fellow of elizara and you are behind the mankind you are doing something for the help of elizara and salute our great teacher our academic academician and the man in the century mr gabriel abram elizara and thank you all in a, in this august gathering particularly thanks professor bari and uh, ras tv mr dr tanvir thank you everybody and uh, my best uh, wishes to you uh, all of you i actually i have been suffering in corona and i was about to die and uh, post corona complication of electrolyte imbalance so parshad you are our great friend uh, we have a we have not yet introduce no more but almighty has uh live alone met me alone and to introduce ourselves so pray to me i pray to all of you uh for the people by the people and of the people and for the mankind thank you very much for your uh kind attention and uh, uh Thank, thank you, you very you, much. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for sharing your great experience with us. Uh, and it's a great day, I think. Uh, it's a great day of celebration of 100 years of Elizaro all around the world. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, today is the end of our program. And before ending, uh, I would like to thank uh, our uh, honorable professor, Professor Mafakarul Barisar, who is spread Elizaro in Bangladesh. Uh, Professor Shepchuk sir, Professor Padil sir, Professor Harshad sir, Dr. Jang sir, and uh, Dr. Shamsul Huda, and especially Professor Abdul Ghani Mulla sir for being with us. I uh, hope we can arrange this sort of program in coming future, and we can share our knowledge, and we can share our views to each other to improve the Elizaro, and to spread out the loving touch of Elizaro all around the world. And finally, I would like to say something that is work as if you were to live a hundred years and pray as if you were to die tomorrow hope you all are well and keeping distance with each other and be safe during this pandemic time i am dr mountain virashav want to thank raj tv and want to thank renata pharmaceuticals limited for sponsoring our program and i'd like to say bye bye to all of our viewers today bye bye you are watching Raj TV Jagorone Bangladesh please subscribe our channel